All right, starting over. I'm using a new uh, screencast service right now, so I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it. But uh, anyway, so just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I get so many questions every day about uh, a lot of our lead generation logistics. And uh, so I wanted to throw something together fairly quickly and kind of show you what we're doing. Um, we're, connect we're, we're probably converting uh, three to four times the national average of our internet buyer leads. And um, so I just wanted to throw together this quick video to show you exactly how we are doing that. So um, I'll walk, walk through this with you. Um, we all understand um, in this business that you need leads to, to, to run a successful business. If you don't have leads, you don't have a business. That's just the bottom line. Um, and a lot of people these days can generate a lot of leads. Um, but a lot of people are generating a lot of leads and they are not converting a lot of leads. So I want to show you how we're converting three to four times as many leads as the national average. And so the first thing I'll do, and if you didn't see my video the other day, our top five lead resources, um, our number one lead resource right now is our Commissions Inc. platform. And I'm going to see if I can share my screen and show you that. Um, bear with me just a minute here. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen with you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to our Commissions Inc. platform. And I'm gonna talk just very briefly about um, where the leads come in. So the leads come in from our, like I said before, our Search Send Day Homes site. And that site looks like this. This is the front end of the site right here. And um, let's see, I'll go to the dashboard. So this is the dashboard where most of our leads come in. And you can see here, here's the launch pad. Um, this month we generated 501 new leads. You can see the sources, the cities, so these are the top 10 lead cities, Cincinnati, Dayton, Mason, Beaver Creek, Troy, et cetera. Top 10 lead sources. Most everything is coming from Google pay-per-click. Um, we're doing some seller lead generation too. We're also doing uh, Z Buyer, which I think was our either number three or number four top lead resource. And then we're doing a lot of stuff on Facebook here too. You can see that at the bottom. So when the leads come into our system, um, they're registering to look at homes. So lead comes in, they're typing in um, Centerville, Ohio, homes for sale, four bedrooms, two baths, 200 to 300, uh, sorry about that, 200 to 300,000 um, with a full finished basement, right? And so when they come into our system, they're, we start showing them some property, they start, they start looking at property and and then what happens is a registration box pops up. Registration box pops up and it asks for their name, their phone number, uh, their email address. Actually, it asks for their name and email address and then it asks them to use their phone number as the password, right? And so we're capturing a lot of this information and then we're distributing that back out to our agents for them to build relationships, build rapport and convert. And, um, and, and so, but what happens here is like we all understand that when a lead comes in, if anybody's, if anybody is seen the, the lead study um, that shows that if you contact the lead within the first five minutes, you have the best opportunity of being able to get in touch with them. And I think that's even lower now. I think you want to connect with the lead while they're still on the site. So lead comes in and it is important that you respond right away, right? So um, not only are our agents making phone calls, but they're also backed up by our technology, right? So that so the lead comes in and we have a an auto text responder through the site. The first text responder for this particular lead, like I'll, I'm just gonna go through and show you some of this. We have a subscription and with this subscription, there's a sync template called speed to lead. So that speed to lead template is a series of uh, text messages and emails uh, that go out as soon as the lead registers, right? And, and so not only are we trying to get a phone call out to that lead, we're also sending a text message and we're also sending an email, right? 
So we're what we're and what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what is the best line of communication for this lead. And what I mean by that is you might make a phone call, you might make six phone calls to a lead at different times a day and never get in touch with them. You might send, you know, three or four different emails and they never respond. And you might send one or two texts and they respond to both of them, right? And so you understand that at that point that they're telling you that lead is actually telling you the way they want to be communicated with, right? And so you're going to put in your notes that this lead likes to, to communicate via text message. Now with our technology, um, it actually, when you text the lead and the lead texts you back, is it's all recorded for you right here. So you can see that, right? So, and actually this lead is, is already responding with our text messaging. So I'm going to walk you through this real quick. So you can see what's what's actually happening when a lead comes in. So when a lead is registering, we're getting their information, right? And so we understand where the lead came from because we want to know where they come, came from because we want to know how to talk to the lead. And so when the lead comes in, you can see that um, right here, there's an email subscription changed. There's an, and then there's a text subscription if the number's valid, which in this case it is. And so you can see that the sync lead template speed to lead was subscribed, right? And so now you wanna know what happens after, and this is immediately by the way, so when that lead comes in. And so what happens after that is the lead gets assigned and then a, a series of email and text messages go out. And, and so for this one, you can see that this, this email automatically went out and it says, welcome to the searchdatenhomes.com site. And it gives you some, just some information about the site. And then it says, hi, Jeremy, thank you for registering and, wel and welcome to our website, searchsendayhomes.com. Um, and then it gives them their information. And, and then what happens after that is you can see, and that went out at 947 and at 953, an automated text message went out. I want you to understand the difference here, okay? This is completely automated by the system. This is not the agent sending out a text message. This is completely automated. So whether the agent responds to the lead or not, they're getting this lead, this text message from the system. Okay, so this is going out uh, a few minutes after the lead registers. It says, hi, Jeremy, this is our thing. Hi, Jeremy, This thanks for reaching out. Just curious, are you only looking in Kettering? I'll send you an email to might dump into your junk or spam. Now this is a dynamic tag that's Kettering. So that dynamic tag will actually change depending on what they saved as their, the area of, of homes that they're looking or the area that they're looking for homes in. Okay. So this can change, which is really cool. And then the email that goes out. So that, that this is the text message that goes out. And then the email from the speed to lead template that goes out that says, hi, Jeremy, I see what you're looking for. I see that you're looking at homes and Kettering. Mind telling me a bit more so I can spend or send you some properties that meet your exact search criteria. It's simple and you can read the rest. But what I want you to understand here is the importance of what we're doing. So what, and what I mean by that is it, this is a really good example because you can see that without even a phone call, this lead had already responded to the text message that the system sent out. The system, not the agent, the system. And here's what's really cool. So Sharon, one of our top agents, she probably got a text message back from this lead because you can see based on this, hi, Jeremy, thanks for reaching out. Just curious, are you only looking in Kettering, right? He responded, we are looking in a few places, Kettering, Union, and Preble County. Okay, that is key, guys. Listen, my, my agents can be asleep. They can be on a showing, they can be writing a contract, and they're still engaging leads. And I can tell you that's, that's probably the biggest reason we're converting more of these leads uh, because we're actually, we're meeting them where they're at. So whether that be on phone, email, or text message, we're meeting them where they're at, right? And so obviously when we engage them in dialogue, and now you can see, um, we got another, he sent another text message too. Uh, this is awesome. Man. So he sent that at 1025. He sent another one at t, uh, 1026. He says, I look forward to talking soon. I'm a truck driver and work at night. I'm in bed at this time of day. I will reach out to you soon. Thanks. 
right? And that was the the last uh, the last message message that went out. Um, excuse me from him. So I, I I cannot tell you I cannot stress how um, important this is because you know it used to be when it when a lead came in it was just about making a phone call, right? And I can tell you right now, less and less people are responding to phone calls and more and more people are responding to text messages um, and emails. Uh, And I'm stressing text message here, okay? So you can see, and we're doing this for all of our leads, by the way. So like we have categorized leads through Infusionsoft. So this is our Infusionsoft, because I talked about email drip campaigns and auto text responders. So we do our expires through uh, Vulcan 7, okay? So the lead, the for sale by owner and expired leads are delivered to our Vulcan 7 platform every single morning uh, by 8 a.m., right? And all of our agents have access to that. When they are delivered into that system, they, the system will recognize where the lead comes in from in Infusionsoft here, and it will distribute it as such. So our buyer leads, right? We have 3,080 buyer leads that are active in our campaigns in Infusionsoft right now. And these buyer leads, uh, the buyer lead campaigns are are very intuitive in that um, there is an if this, then that feature. And what I mean by that is, so a a brand new lead comes in, registers on the site, goes into our email drip campaign after it goes through the speed to lead campaign in our Commissions Inc. platform. Okay, so we're just talking specifically about buyers here. So the the you can see here, I've got I've got a buyer lead campaign, a general seller campaign, and the general seller campaign is actually two different campaigns. There's one for have spoken to, and spoken to or not spoken to. Excuse me. Okay, so there's two different general seller campaigns. Same thing for buyers, and the way that the system recognizes have spoken to or not spoken to is when the agent marks the pipeline stage, okay? So if the agent marks the pipeline stage contacted, then they get a different tag in Infusionsoft and it goes to the have spoken to, right? If the agent in the pipeline stage marks it voicemail or attempted contact, then it goes to the have not spoken to campaign. Same thing with sellers, right? All the data comes in through Vulcan 7. And when it comes in through Vulcan 7, it comes in with a tag and it either says um, that the lead has been contacted or the lead has not been contacted. And based on that tag, it will get um, it will get that the the correct Drip camp, the correct seller drip campaign either have spoken to or haven't spoken to. Um, same thing with expires. This is actually the, the expired campaign that's built out in Infusionsoft. Um, our Vulcan data actually comes into this. And if it's not responded, the, I, this is a five week campaign. The expired campaign is a five week campaign. And then after the five week expired drip campaign, it goes into our seller drip campaign. Right, you can see the number of active leads in both of these campaigns right now, and then we have one for Fizbos as well. So same thing for Fizbos: have spoken to, haven't spoken to, uh, because when you're doing an if that uh, if this then that, like for instance, when I was telling you about the if this then that, so a buyer lead comes in to our buyer drip campaign, and it 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 says. It might say the first email, the initial email might say, are you planning on buying a home in the next 30, 60, 90, or 120 plus days? Those are all live links. And when you click on those live links, so the 30 might be a live link, 60, 90, 120 plus. When they, if they click on 60, they're going to get a different email drip campaign than if they clicked on 30. Okay. So that is critical. And then we also have, um, we do active sellers. So we run our active sellers through this also because we're, you know, if, if they stay active for too long, we want to make sure that they're getting the data that they need in order to prime them for a price reduction. And then we have uh, buyer post closing. And then we also have what we call an adopt a buyer campaign. 
And so all these are pre-built out uh, past clients as well, or that's a, that there's 10 years worth of uh, content in our past client drip campaign right now. So you can see the life of the lead here. I think why, what makes it so powerful. And I told you 15 minutes or less and I'm a minute over right now, but I'm, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Um, what I really wanted you to see is that, um, you know, while, while it is still important to make phone calls, you want to make sure also that you have um, some automation in your business because there are already there are already teams, other teams and agents that are doing this at a high level. Uh, and, you know, they're they're three or four or five Xing uh, the conversion rates on their leads because of the communication. See, communication is key. So if you want to learn more about this, we actually have a spreadsheet. Uh, with all of our lead gen strategy, all, all of the lead gen that we're doing currently right now and our top five sites. And if you want, if you want that spreadsheet with all of our information on the lead gen sources that we're using right now, and um, I can send that to you, just leave me a comment and just say, I, I want the list in the comments and I'll make sure and send you a copy of the list so that you can have that for yourself. But um you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, here. All right, there we are. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And, you know, hopefully if, you, if you're not doing that, then you have at least some sort of a framework of how you need to start doing that. And certainly if, if you want help, um, I'm happy to help. And um, I think that's it for this one. So I'm gonna be signing off. And I told you 15 minutes less, I was actually 17, 18 minutes or less. So. Have a great Thursday.